Day two in Montalegre, Portugal. It's round five of the FIA World Rallycross Championship with huge crowds gathered at this high altitude event. We pick up the action in the first of the semi-finals with the PWR equipment construction dealer team getting into a little bit of a tussle with Kevin Hansen. Kevin Hansen comes out worst and much to his disappointment brings his race challenge to an end. Kevin Hansen having to retire in the semi-finals, being the only driver to have beaten Johan Christofferson to this point in the championship. It was a very close call for Clara Anderson as she exits her joker, just staying ahead of Rennie Munich, with Nicholas Gronholm out in front, Clara Anderson in second, and both of the PWR yellow cars going into the final. Only three cars in the lineup for semi-final number two, and again, all the battles are up that first corner. Johan Christofferson was the big favourite, pulling clear of Timmy Hansen, maybe going for the early Joker lap. The battle was on, but all three knew that they had qualified for the final, no matter what the outcome of the result. Nonetheless, it was Christofferson who wanted to get one up on Timmy Hansen, who spins out in the fifth and final lap. Joker giving a 1-2 to the KMS team in semi-final number two. Christofferson, Gronholm, Baby, Anderson and Timmy Hansen on the outside in the five-car lineup for the finale. Sees Timmy Hansen sweep in from the outside to take a very dramatic early lead. The early Joker strategy from Gronholm and Baby was to pay dividends later on in the challenge. But it's Christofferson battling Timmy Hansen. A very aggressive manoeuvre from the championship leader puts Timmy Hansen into the litter and his chances of winning this fifth round are over. Christofferson, once he'd got that clear track, was to lead throughout the rest of the five-lap challenge with Baby and Gronholm all battling behind and Clara Anderson also looking for another PB. In the Joker lap, Gronholm gives it his best, but it is Christofferson who gets the better of the finished driver and takes the chequered flag, potentially winning his fifth straight win of the season. Climbing the hill to wrap it all up, Gronholm has no answers. But a favour for Gronholm comes from the stewards. A reassessment of this manoeuvre from Christofferson on Hansen gives the Swedish championship leader a 10-second penalty, and it gives Gronholm the victory in round five of the season. Christofferson is finally defeated. A great podium for Clara Anderson, Baby in runner-up position. Christofferson still tops the standings ahead of Baby. Hansen's fourth and third, and Gronholm moving up to fifth with the win today. In the Euro RX1 support series, it was a career first win for Enzo Ede, the Belgium driver who's come so close in so many series, finally climbing to the top of the podium. But the fourth position for Anton Markland was enough to give the Swedish driver the European title with still one race to go. Celebrations for Markland, winning the Euro RX1 series the second time in his career. And a similar story in the Euro RX3 series. In their penultimate round of the series, a third season victory for Kobe Powell's gives the teenage Belgium driver his first ever Euro RX3 European title. Runner-up last year, the winner of 2022, and with still one round to go. Tears of joy for one of the young rising stars from the world of motorsport.